Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click the subscribe button and stick around. For those of you who are new, I am a fashion merchandising student and Alpha Phi here at Kent State University. And this is going to be my first college week in my life of the year. I'm very excited. If you guys are new to my channel, I post these every single Sunday. I vlog Sunday morning to Saturday nights and they're typically about an hour long, just kind of showing you all different sides of my life, work-life balance, what I'm eating, sorority stuff, um, a look into my homework and assignments for my fashion classes, roommates, friends, all that kind of stuff. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around. Olivia, one of my roommates just walked in. If you guys have been around my channel for some time, then you recognize Olivia because I lived with her freshman year. Um, but anyways, I just want to start off this vlog. It's Sunday. It's like 12.40 right now. I slept in until like 10 because we had a late night. Everyone was up chatting for a long time. Um, and I just sat in bed and got up. My blog post for the day, my first weekly wrap-up of the school year. I leave these linked down below every single week so that you guys can see a week in my life plus outfits of the week. So if you're ever curious what I'm wearing throughout these videos, this is where I'm going to leave everything linked so that you guys can shop. So just got that live. I desperately need to make my bed. I just put in a load of laundry and we're gonna have ourselves a productive Sunday. All right, sorry for the long intro. But I really need to get my life in order before classes like truly, truly begin. We had our first day of class on Thursday, but it was like super chill, didn't do any assignments, anything like that. But this will be like my first full week of class. On Tuesday, I have two in-person classes and then on Thursday, I have four online. So going to be a busy week. I'm actually just gonna sit down and make like a to-do list of things that not only that I need to do today, just like kind of a list of everything that comes to mind that has just been sitting in my brain. And then from there, I'm going to do a, a full on planner session like you guys love to see. All right, so here is a list of everything that came to mind. There is no chance in hell that I will get all of this stuff done today, but I just wanted to kind of write down everything that I'm hoping to get done Sunday to Monday. That's like the beauty of not having classes on Mondays. I only have class Tuesday, Thursday, and then I have like an asynchronous. I can join for an hour on Wednesday, but... Um, I just did a little planning session as well and kind of planned out my week. So on Monday, I'm gonna get all my Fashion Week stuff kind of squared away, because I am going to New York Fashion Week next week. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, I have like full days of class. Wednesday, I obviously have forecasting, um, but I usually use Wednesday as like a big content day, filming videos, taking photos, things like that. And then the rest of the week is just kind of up in the air. The first week, I pretty much just leave my calendar open and I kind of like see how things go. I am going to have dinner with my big on Monday, tomorrow. And from there, I'll kind of like fill in. I know Wednesday, I'm eating dinner at the manch with my littles. And... I always try to eat with friends and stuff like that just to kind of see everyone. So what I'll do is on Sundays, I'll go through and like text all the people I want to see and be like, hey, what are you doing? This is what time and day I have free and kind of go from there. But for now, um, the school and like work aspect of my calendar is filled out. I love using Happy Planner stickers. I do have a Happy Planner. It's from Create365. I can do a whole video on how I plan um, later in the semester, but I don't have too, too many stickers used yet just cause I'm, like I said, not really done planning out the week in general, but I did just go through a bunch of my syllabi and just kind of get a feel for what assignments are gonna be due this week. It looks like a majority of my classes don't really have any assignments, but I will have a quiz for almost all of my classes. Fashion school is very project heavy, so a lot of your things are like big cumulative projects that you're working on throughout the entirety of the semester. So it's kind of nice cause you don't have as many things due week to week, but Feeling good about this.
Okay, ignore the sound of our washer and dryer. It's super, super loud, but just made myself a couple of scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese and two pieces of bacon. I totally would have done a bagel sandwich, but we don't have bagels. So that's also on my grocery list for later today, but really a weird time to be eating this, but it's like all I have right now, so. Just drove over to the mansion. I picked up a ton of mail. I got some stuff from Joel's Kill. I got some stuff from Shein and some stuff from Parade. I've just been like unboxing everything there just because it's a little bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna bring this stuff upstairs and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, everybody, haul time. Starting off with some pieces from Joel's Kill. This is my first time um, receiving clothes from them and so far I am obsessed, okay? I got these shoes for Fashion Week because let's be real, the only place you can wear something this crazy is Fashion Week. I have a green bubble dress that I think they're gonna look fantastic with. And then I got this checkered purse because I also thought that this could be a fun Fashion Week piece paired with these white and black boots. I'm obsessed with these. They've got like a taller shaft to them. So I think that they're gonna fit perfect. I also thought that those could be cool to mix with this leather skirt. I don't know. I'm like really in the mood to color block and literally anything goes with Fashion Week. So next up I got this little like blue and purple butterfly top and I did get the matching skirt to go with it fingers crossed that both of these fit I don't know they just seemed very different very feminine how to give it a try then I got this white dress I love this it's like smocked throughout the bottom and it has like billowed sleeves at the top very, very cute, and I always need white dresses here at school, especially for sorority recruitment kind of things. We end up needing a lot of them. And the last thing that I got from them is this little, like, poofy, silky dress, too. I really love the sleeves on this. It's kind of like a funky, different print to it, but it reminds me of the silky dresses. And I think with a pair of boots and a cool hat, I could definitely make this work for Fashion Week. And then I did get a couple of things from Parade. They always have the best PR boxes i did throw away the box soap just because i obviously didn't need it but i'll insert a picture of it here so that you guys can see um but they just came out with a new line so they sent over like a cute little matching bralette i just got like the yellow i do believe that this is see-through like it's mesh so obviously this is something that you're wearing underneath of a top rather than on its own and then they sent over like a little thong to go with this is like a string g-string um but then they also sent over these boy short underwear and usually I love boy short underwear but these are like mesh like see-through and I'm usually not like a big mesh girl but they look so big like these look like straight granny panties so I'm gonna try them on and see how they are um I have a bunch of pairs from Parade that I've just gotten in previous months and I usually love their stuff though it's really comfortable and sustainably sourced so that's awesome and then I did get a big old box of Shein stuff I'm not going to go through this because I am going to film a separate try on haul with all of these goodies so make sure you're following me here on YouTube because I'm going to go through and show everything and I got like a bunch of basics like good staples for back to school season because I know that's what a lot of you guys are shopping for and a bunch of super cute going out tops so okay it's grocery shopping time with Liv Making sure we eat good this week. That'll be good. I think that'll be good. Scan an item, select another option, or finish and pay. Okay, grocery haul. We went to Aldi's because it's the cheapest. I got blueberry bagels for bagel sandwiches. I also got bacon. Already had cheese, already had eggs. We got more chicken because we're gonna do um, ranch chicken in the crock pot tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna do cilantro lime chicken and we're gonna make um, rice and roasted potatoes with it. So we got these potatoes because they were a lot cheaper and there's a lot more. I also like to dice these up and cook them in bacon grease for breakfast too. Mm. That's also very good. We got a new thing of tater tots because we ate all the other ones. I got strawberries because, I don't know, I was just craving strawberries. Mom, I did get fruit. Cilantro is literally 75 cents there, and we need a block of cream cheese for tomorrow's crock pot recipe. I'll try my best to show you guys, like, what, um, like, I'm eating throughout the day. Just slash recipes that we cook, because I know it's kind of annoying to cook for one, two people, whatever. And you guys struggle, too. So, we're also, we have said that we're going to start a cooking segment with the roomies. Oh, once a week. So if you guys have any recommendations, like, please let us know down below. 
we'll get working on that, but. Okay, oh, and we got a mango. We just bought the mango. I was like eight hundred last night. And we got more chips, so, yay. Oh, and we got lemonade. Okay, laundry time. I did two loads of wash and now I've got two. Fold it all up, thank God, because I was like all out of shorts and underwear. We're making shrimp tacos for dinner tonight. I just did the chili powder and the cumin and garlic, lime. And then we're cooking rice right now. I'm gonna do cilantro, lime, cheese, and cumin in this. And then we're gonna heat up these tortillas and eat them like that. First shrimp taco of the semester, check. I put mango on it. Okay, it's not as good without the cilantro, lime, crema, like the avocado stuff. But it's like so much to make if you're not gonna eat, like eat it consistently. So, oh well, let's roll this baby up. All right, we're walking into chapter. This is Logan's first in-person chapter ever. It's like freshman year part two. Literally, and it still kind of feels like freshman year to me too because we haven't had like a full year. But anyways, we're walking in before you comment where Sophia she is an exec and they have to come early every week so that's why it's just us walking we love you so so chapter vibes I think that's all I ever do in your videos put my arms up that's my signature put your arms up I'll make a compilation on your birthday of all of the me <laughs> Griffith I've got this chick baseballed up one more arms up for the vid. All right, we're on our way to uh, Shuni right now because what else do you do when the sun's setting at 8.45 at night then walk a mile and a half from home? That's what we're doing. Um, I don't really know why. Come play catch. Just this spontaneous walk. We used to do this a ton at the end of the semester and someone's driving over to the field right now. Oh Whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't see it. Anyways, if someone's there, we'll just turn around and walk home, but it's kind of a far walk. but. Just wanted to update you, this is college, typical Sunday night in college, is me just randomly begging someone to walk for no reason. Okay, Sunday and then We're gonna watch the stars, there's one out right now. There's one singular star. No, there's another star. one right there. One, two, oh, wait, there's, wait, there's wait, another three. one over there. Okay, this the sky is clearing up. One, two, three. We can count them on our hands though, so it's not much Four. of a stargazing night. Well, it's not that dark out, but we gotta go soon. We gotta go. We gotta trudge back. Mile, 1.6 miles till we get home. We didn't think it through at all. Oh well. The sun was setting. Someone can come get us if we need. Love you, Shuni. Good morning, guys. It is Monday, and Logan and I had so much fun last night. We actually had two of our friends, Reef and Grant, come and meet us at the baseball field. They hung out with us for a little bit, and we decided to randomly get ice cream sandwiches from Insomnia, and we had a cart over, and we all just kind of hung out. Um, talking, eating cookies. Those are like my favorite kind of nights in college where you just like randomly spend hours with your favorite people. No better feeling. Um, so we did that and they left around midnight. I went to bed and I slept in today because I just needed to. So I slept until 9.30 and I just edited a YouTube video. Oh, and I got my monthly montage up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to leave the actual music in, but I did it to the Taylor Swift, like August oh, slipped away to a moment of time. You know what I mean? Every month I do one on TikTok, like a montage of all my favorite vlog moments like compiled together. They never get more than a thousand views. They never go viral, but they are like seriously some of my favorite like things to hold on to. So I'll insert that here so that you And 
and just did like a little to-do list for today and figured that I should get ready. I actually think I'm going to walk onto campus to do my work today. I don't have any schoolwork. I usually stick to my schoolwork to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, but I do have tons of videos and like blog things to finish up today. So, um, I don't know. We're going to walk onto campus and kind of see, see what the vibe is over there. This is what I'm wearing today. My bed's not made yet, so ignore that, but my t-shirt is from Target. Really cute, picked it up for a collab last week and I'm obsessed with it. And my jeans are just from Express, it's kind of chilly out. I wanna sit outside while I do my work and I think I am going to wear um, my Dolce Vita Xena sneakers. They just look like this, they're really comfy to walk over in cause it is like, I don't know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 miles I bet. So, we'll slip into those and that's gonna be today's casual fit. Okay, before I leave the house, we do have two things to get done. The first thing that we need to do is put on tonight's dinner. We are making crock pot ranch chicken. I made this a few times last year and it's really good. This is like one of my family's favorite meals at home. My mom makes this for us a lot. So we're gonna make that. And then we are also going to make um, a bagel sandwich because I do need to eat before I leave the house today. So the way that you make crock pot ranch chicken is you need one can of cream of mushroom soup. You need one whole block of cream cheese. You need one thing of chicken breast. And you need a ranch packet or just like the ranch seasoning. So literally all you're gonna do is put the whole pack of chicken in the crock pot, the whole can of cream of mushroom soup, and then the packet of ranch. I don't know how much ranch I use for this because I usually use a packet rather than the like mix like this. So I'm gonna have to call my mom and ask. And you put it on low for five to six hours. And then 30 minutes before you serve it, you put the whole block of cream cheese in and mix it together. And we usually have this served over rice. So um, tonight, you know, when that time rolls around, I'll put on some rice, but here we go. All right, lid on, low, five hours, it's noon right now, so okay, bagel sandwich time, you guys know the drill, one bagel, I'm doing blueberry today. I'm gonna do two scrambled eggs, two pieces of bacon. Okay, bagel sandwich check. Blueberry bagel, two scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese, cream cheese, two pieces of bacon, strawberries, full meal. You love it. I packed up my computer, my AirPods, and my planner into my purse. And I'm walking over to campus right now. My computer's almost dead, so I do think I'm gonna have to sit in like the integrated science building or something for a little bit just to charge it up. But then I will go over to the Kiva and like sit outside, but just kind of wanted to change the scenery for today's work. But I really underestimated how hot it is. I definitely should have worn shorts. Alright guys, I have been sitting on campus for so many hours now. I think I left around 12.30, it's 5 o'clock right now, and I'm about to pack up my stuff and go, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of what I've done today. So, I typically use Mondays as my, like, grind it out blogging YouTube day. That way on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I can dedicate those days to schoolwork. I don't know why I don't have a voice right now, but... Okay, so I got up my first day of school blog post. I also posted an Instagram photo with that. I linked a bunch of stuff on my stories. Um, I had an UGG collab that I needed to send over for review, so I did that. I edited two YouTube videos, processed those, scheduled those for today and tomorrow. And then I went in and responded to a bunch of emails and I started pitching people for New York Fashion Week. So I've gotten quite a bit done. I'm really, really pleased. Um, I still need to film a Poshmark TikTok. I'm actually gonna go home and film that. I filmed it earlier and 
Um, they asked for like an edit and it turns out that like the TikTok won't let me edit it. Like it won't let me adjust the clips for some reason. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna refilm that. I also just texted my little one to see if they want a night swim. So I'm staying social. Let's go. Walking home. It's like half a mile. It's not super far. And these are my Dolce Vita Xena sneakers. I literally love these. Guess who's here for dinner? Hi. Allie, have you you haven't been here for dinner yet this semester? Yeah, I've been this here. is her first dinner of the semester. And my favorite. She dinner. requested ranch chicken and crock pot. Like, such a ran <laughs> such a random meal. It looks kind of gross, but I promise you it's really, really good. So you just put this over white rice. I'll show you what it looks like plated. I was gonna make roasted potatoes, but I forgot. I came back a little too late. Um, and they take forever, so sorry. Okay. Come eat, everybody! Yeah. Okay. She's yeah. like the little house, Mom. Okay. It probably needs salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah, it's about to drown me, man. Um, I was telling my mom about how we were, um, doing our new cooking system. segment and she told us we need to make a cooking Instagram account. Oh my god. But she said but not like just a like a like a like into a meal. I made a bagel sandwich this morning. You did? It was delish. This place is dirty. Oh, probably it is. That's Izzy's. She's never gonna I told her, she came over and I was like, I have your place still. Delish! Like, well, All right, D, let's eat, everybody. Let's eat, Grace. Say Grace. Grace. Cooked by Chad. Cooked by Chad. Allie left, but tonight, ranch chicken got a 10. I think it was the best I've ever made here. I finally like got the timing down right. Allie loves it, it's her favorite. We painted our nails after that. And then she I went- I am not Allie. And then she went home. Now Logan and Sophia and Kara are here. And we are going night swimming. We're in the hot tub because Ow. the pool is, is cold. I felt so hot out today for some reason. Here we are. My bathing suit's from Shein, by the way. My bathing suit is from Nasty Gal. It's the first time I can actually do this where's in your, Where's your bathing suit from, Stuff now? My bathing suit. Come in, they can't even see you. My bathing suit's also from Shein. Shein. These are from Sheen. We haven't seen you yet. In the mine? Show. Oh, let me give you mine. Mm. This is from Sheen. <laughs> Sheen? Yeah. Sheen. Sheen. Now we're gonna get monetized for sure. We're gonna play mermaid. Ew. <laughs> Hi guys. All right, just showered and I'm now cozying up in bed to get the last of my video edited, processed, and uploaded to YouTube over. Good morning, peeps. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at 10, woke up at eight. I marinated our chicken for dinner tonight, and then I just got ready. I washed my hair last night, so popped in some fresh crimps this morning, did my makeup, and got dressed. Actually, my first in-person class today since freshman year, which is a little intimidating. Um, so here's what I'm wearing. My top and my jeans are both from Romwe, and I've got a little shoelace belt action. Shoes are just my white high-top Converse, and then I've just got on my usual jewels, nothing crazy, but I do have one in... Um, I do have one online class that starts at 9.15, 9.15 to 10.30, and then after my um, online class, I'm going to walk over to the fashion building for my other classes of the day, so fingers crossed, a little nervous, can't lie. Alright, didn't have time to vlog the process of me making this bagel sandwich because I literally have three minutes till class, but just my usual blueberry bagel, cream cheese, scrambled eggs, bacon, and I just filled up my Yeti with ice water. Makes us start with 10 squats and Olivia's leading them to bed. <laughs> She's in the other room. Nine. Ten. This is just an introduction, okay? I want you to start reframing. No assumptions. Being open. I want you to think about who you are. First in person class since freshman year check. I actually have one Friday. <laughs> um, Liv and I have like opposite schedules. Like she's about to go to an online class and I have in person and then vice versa. So I have um, in person, online, in person. And we just got out of professional seminar, which we also have together. But we're rocking today, cause it's nice out. But I'm kind of sweating in my new jeans. And Liv wore the wrong shoes. So this is your message that if you're also starting to go back in person, like maybe do a run through of your outfit before. <laughs> Um, but anyways, everyone's staring at me, so I gotta go by. Alright guys, 
finally back in the fashion school. So I just got out of my planning and buying class and the professor was super, super cool. Um, I stayed after and talked with her a little bit. So now I'm upstairs. I don't have class until 3.45. It's 12.20 right now, but I have quite a few things to do. I have some readings to do, a couple quizzes to take, and a like Excel assignment to do for my computer apps class. So I'm just gonna sit here. The fashion school has like, beautiful lighting right here that kind of like looks out to the rest of campus so i'm just gonna sit here olivia was just here she just went to class but Just got done with product development. I also really liked the professor for that class. And we actually already got our groups for our midterm project today. The girls are super cool and one of them is in one of my earlier classes, which is kind of fun. So we did that and we just picked express jeans as like our focus. And I tried to show you guys like all about what I'm learning and my schoolwork and things like that throughout the weeks. So, so I'm sure you guys will get an update on that fairly soon. Um, I'm actually not going to do any schoolwork tomorrow. Um, I'm going to just try to stick with my schoolwork Tuesdays and Thursdays. But for now, it's 5 o'clock and it's time for me to walk home. It is time to get working on dinner. Tonight we are making cilantro lime chicken. I've had it marinating in this bag all day long. It takes like 25 to 30 minutes to but roasted potatoes usually take about an hour. So I'm about to cut up some yellow potatoes. I like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, um, thyme, and rosemary on them. That's how we do it at home. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. All four of us are eating here today too. We've been eating together most days. Um, I'm not sure how well that's gonna last the whole year, but oh well. I'll leave the recipe for this down below too for you guys. Okay, dinner time. Ignore the fact that all the chicken breasts are cut in half. It was because I was making sure that they were done in the center. But that's the marinade. Potatoes are done. They're nice and crispy today. We're just waiting a couple more minutes for our rice to be done. And then dinner will be complete. Well, I really screwed up and I accidentally doubled the water in the rice. So it's like really, really <laughs> sticky rice. There we go. So hopefully it works out, but oh well. Okay, besties, it's been a few hours since we chatted. I dinner was really good. I would give it a nine. I'm only docking a point because I messed up the rice, but potatoes were perfect. Chicken was just right, um, delish. And then I drove over to the mansion. I picked up my mail. I had a huge box of she and Gettys. And I also had a huge white fox order. And then I also had a big Lulu's order. The white box and Lulu stuff is in the back of my car still because it was way too heavy for me to carry up here on my own. So I'm just gonna have to go and get it another trip later. Um, but I got like this cute little back to school PR package from Hero Cosmetics. I love Hero, you guys know I read about them literally all the time. And they sent over all these cute things, okay? They sent over a clear collective um, prebiotic moisturizer. Then they sent over a mini rescue balm that is a post blemish recovery cream. Sounds like what I need after I pick out my skin. A lightning wand that is a dark spot brightening serum. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that. My, I have the worst dark spots. Like that is like the worst part about my skin is that it scars really, really easily. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna use that tonight. They also sent over some mighty patches, which you guys know I love and use all the time. A mini force shield sunscreen, which I also love and use all the time. Oh my god, they sent another one of these. Okay, I have one of these right now and I've been using it literally every day. 
it is that like super fuel stick this is like crack in a little jar it's so good it's literally like just a stick of moisturizer they also sent over the reset mist i have this as well at home but i forgot to bring it with me to school so that's exciting and then they sent over a serum toner and a jelly cleanser and it all came in this like cute little toiletry bag so that's exciting thank you Hero, for sending over those good oh wait and they sent over like a celsius the energy drinks and they also sent over this sweatshirt and it's really really soft it says microbiome which is like kind of like i don't know different i just it's really soft like i wish you could feel it so that was a fun little pr i love getting pr because it's like something that you don't know what's coming so it's like extra exciting um but lots of good shit and stuff like a whole fall order so i'm definitely going to film all that stuff tomorrow um the only lulu's piece that is up here is this hat fantastic i love it i love felt hats i have a hundred of them they're like my favorite thing in the whole world so anyways all right it's 8 30 oh wait then i went on a walk with emily we walked like a mile around campus nothing crazy and then we went over to Fever to see our bigs because both of our bigs live there. We just hung out and chatted for like literally 30 minutes. Nothing crazy. What's up, besties? Happy Wednesday. It's also September 1st, which if you know me, usually I'm like gung-ho about the first of the month. I love it. I feel like it's a chance to set new goals, reflect on last month, what's working, what's not working. So this morning, I woke up at like 7.30 and I went right into this little doc that I keep. I, I think I talk about this like every month, but maybe if you haven't watched my videos in a while, every month on the first of the month, I go through and I write down how many Instagram followers I have, how many YouTube subscribers, TikTok followers, and how many like on the first of the month. So every first I write down those stats. And then I also, will go through my previous month, so in this case, August 1st through the 31st, and I will see how much money I made through different revenue streams, I will see how many blog views I got, how my platforms grew, what's working, what's not working, just notice any shifts, any differences from month to month. And I've learned that I'm actually having a hell of a year. In some areas, I'm really struggling, and in other areas, like, I'm really excelling. And I feel like that's so, you know, that's good. It's good to be well-rounded, and it's good to humble yourself in some areas, but also to feel like a badass in other areas. So, cheers to that. I wish that I had all day to sit and pick apart, you know, new strategies and find reasons why X, Y, and Z is working and why uh, ABC isn't, but I don't. Um, I'm now in full-blown work-life balance college mode, which if you've met College Mackenzie, it's a different breed, okay? I would consider myself a very diligent hard worker, but nothing compares to me in college mode where like literally every waking minute is planned out and is dedicated to something. So I woke up at 7.30 like I said, and after I did all of that like stat roundup slash reflection, I hit the ground running. I fell asleep um, editing that video last night for Fashion Nova. So this, like I've literally been working on this video for like four days, but I finally woke up and finished it this morning, processed that to YouTube, added all the tags, made a thumbnail, and I set that um, to be published at noon today. So that's today's video. And then I emailed tons of people for New York Fashion Week. I leave a week from tomorrow, which is literally so chaotic and crazy to me. Um, so I'm very excited about that. If you are going to New York Fashion Week or you work for someone who is showing or are in the fashion industry in any way, shape, or form, feel free to message me on Instagram. I would love to chat. I would love to connect, um, maybe meet up, you know, all that good stuff. So I did that. I already got a few yeses back, which is really exciting. And then I finished up a couple of like campaign kind of things. Can't really chat too much about all that, but there are some very exciting sponsorships in the works. Good stuff. Now I am getting ready because I have the longest to-do list you've ever seen in the history of the world today. I'll insert a photo of it here so you guys can see. Um, my goal is to film three YouTube videos and three TikToks, which will absolutely never happen. It takes about an hour and 20 minutes to film each YouTube video. 
not to mention my camera does not have enough battery for me to like talk that long so i have to like do stuff in between i also need to get up a blog post today which an august favorites post is going to take like three hours to write in itself and i do have a class at 4 45 tonight and we're going to dusty armadillo our favorite line dancing bar um, 18 and up there which is really nice because it means all of us can go because some of us are 21 and some of us aren't i'm the some of us that aren't so this is one of my favorite places to go because i can actually go out with my friends and gonna sing some country music do the little dances i don't know should be a good day gonna be a full day you probably won't be hearing from me much today which is why i'm kind of rambling right now and that's because on filming days like my camera's either a always dead or i'm just like running back and forth kind of go 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 i'm slammed so if you don't see too much from me that's why i'm gonna finish getting ready eventually i am going to rub in that dry shampoo and i'll keep you posted as much as possible see you when i'm all ready okay okay hair is done i hate the way second day crimps look but oh well i just did my best to make it work lashes on lip gloss on um okay my mail is everywhere. I think I'm going to start off with the Express TikTok and then I'm going to do the Lulu's TikTok. I want to knock the TikToks out first. Um, believe it or not, the lighting is actually terrible in my room, even though it looks decent right here. But um, we're going to start off with that. I will show you. Okay, so for the Express TikTok, I'm just going to be wearing, um, I believe, one of the bodysuits that I just recently got. I think I'm going to wear this v-neck bodysuit with a pair of jeans and probably a pair of heels because the theme of this post is like confidence and an outfit that makes you feel confident so i think that that's the route i'm gonna go and then for lulu's i have a bunch of stuff actually for like an upcoming youtube haul but i also got some stuff for a tiktok so these are the pieces that are going to be featured in the tiktok this like blue wool jacket and then I got a pair of jeans. I actually got two pairs. I'm not 100% sure which ones I'm going to wear yet. One of them looks a little big, so I'm going to try both of them on. They are both really, really cute. So these ones have um, slits in the knees, and then these ones have, like, holes in the knees. So we're going to try both of those on. And then I do believe that these are the boots that I'm going to wear with. These are from the brand... Seychelles, I don't know. Here's the outfit I settled on for the Lulu's TikTok. Just got on a pair of jeans and booties. And then this is an adorable little like white collared top. And then I've got that shacket, wool jacket layered over top. I love this. I personally love my shackets, like pieces like this with a pair of skinny jeans underneath. But I know most people prefer straight legs. So I'm giving that a try since that's what I've been seeing all over Pinterest too. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around. I'm definitely one of those weirdos that like loves eating leftovers. So today I heated up some of that cilantro lime chicken and rice from yesterday and some potatoes. I just put them in the air fryer to reheat them. Gonna go put you guys in my charger. I cannot find my extra batteries anywhere. So I'm screwed. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make okay, sure I just finished filming the Shein haul. Literally, this was one of the best batches of clothes ever. You will definitely have to set a reminder to watch all this. So many going out tops. A lot of these like seamless bralette basic tank tops that I wear literally every day. Just so much good stuff in this. So make sure you turn on post reminders, post notifications so that you can see um, all that stuff when it goes live it's literally 4:20, and i have class at 4:25. it's like optional to tune in but i'm gonna tune in today just because um it's like the second week you know i figured i would see what's up and make sure that i'm doing everything right i figured i would throw this on for the rest of the day just because we are going to dusty tonight but i'll be wearing like going out clothes tonight you know what i mean like white i'm gonna wear like probably a bodysuit and denim shorts or something just like not something i want to wear to class so this is what i'm wearing in the meantime i'm wearing the airy crossover flares that literally make you look so snatched like my butt is like not that big but it looks so good when i wear these like 
And then this is one of those like seamless bralette padded tops that I was just talking about from that Shein order. I got two different styles and I got four in a pack. So I have got eight new tops and I'm wearing this one. I like this one a little bit better because it's shorter and it's super, super soft. All right, forecasting was super quick. I actually realized that I didn't even need to be there the whole time, so we just had to do a little discussion board post. I just had to respond to a couple of classmates, and I took just a few notes, like literally nothing super crazy at all. Um, I do still have a quiz and two PowerPoints to go through for this class at some point this week, but I have decided to save that for tomorrow. This is just the only thing that was due today, and it was based off of what we talked about in class, so yay. <laughs> don't <laughs> really don't tell him, because now it's my fault. No, it's yeah, Eric's fault. fault. It's my Eric's fault. fault. It's really Eric's not fault. Tell Lou. It's Eric's don't fault. Tell, don't shh. Okay. Kara, if you're watching this, I did not don't get a late play under your name. Anyways, um, first camp Siebel, nuggies, corn, gravy. This like makes your stomach hurt so bad, but it's so good. Oh, and Logie and I just bought Run the green tickets for tomorrow for 50 bucks, baby. Safe to say that four girls that are all the same size again, trying to pick an outfit is not going well. I have tried on, I swear to God, every single thing in my closet and I hate the way I look and everything. I think I'm gonna settle on this top, but like, I don't really know. This is from White Fox, I filmed today. These are Gap shorts that Lauren thrifted. And then here are my black boots. Uh, my, uh, my struggle is that I didn't bring my brown cowboy boots back. I don't hate this, but I don't love it. But I literally have probably changed 35 times and I cannot find anything I like. So this might be what I'm stuck with. My, I do have tomorrow's outfit planned. So like tomorrow's outfit was really easy to plan. And my problem is I don't want to look too much alike. So that is where I'm kind of struggling. So I don't know. <laughs> just like freshman year if freshman you're an OG um, then you know and if you're not then you should go back and rewatch. Exactly. My top is from Windsor, my shorts are thrifted and way too small from Lauren, they're from Gap. <laughs> my shoes are from Dan Post, my bag is just because I need to put my phone and my camera somewhere. And the goldfish are from Costco. Goldfish are <laughs> from Costco and then this is like my like reject hat that's from Fashion Nova. I like to bring this one because I know I won't lose it and no one will take it. So come. My top is from Forever 21. My shorts, where are they from? Wild Target. Mm -hmm. Target, they're Mackenzie's. And my boots are thrifted. Wrangler. My top is from Olivia's Closet. Forever 21. Perfect. My shorts are from American Eagle and I'm wearing Air Forces because I don't have cowboy boots. <laughs> um, we gotta work on that. We gotta work shorts on that. are Sorry. Levi's, top is Zara. These are Lauren's thrifted cowboy boots. All right, goodbye everybody. Okay, so yesterday I kind of took a 180. Right after we vlogged that, we got in the car, um, and Ty, Lauren's boyfriend, was driving us all to Dusty. He was going to stay with us, and we actually got a flat tire like five minutes from the place. So my little Logan just came and picked us up and took me home. So that didn't happen, but no worries because we're headed back tonight for the Riley Green concert. I'm really excited, but I was able to shower and kind of get to bed early, which is nice, but it's 9 o'clock right now. I have class in about 15 minutes, and I actually have just thrown back on the same yoga pants and top that I was wearing yesterday. I end up doing this a lot, actually. I'll like put on lounge clothes and wear them for a couple hours, and then I'll re-wear those same things for like a few days until I feel like they're finally dirty but um i have quite a bit of school work to do today and i desperately need to wash my hair and stuff like that but i think i just want to have more of like a typical getting ready for the night process rather than getting ready in the morning just because i feel like it's more fun so i am going to wash my hair and shower shave later but for now let's just crank out hours and hours worth of school work mm -hmm. you totally get it so when i had this conversation with the graduating senior and i just had to open their eyes and light that fire again you can't lose that. You have to have that mindset. You can go beyond fashion. You can go beyond. And someone has this dialogue with this article. All right, friends, just got out of class and I stayed a little bit later to talk with my professor about our resume assignment just so that I could get a little bit of clarity and some advice on how to really put Style by McKenz on a resume to apply for like a normal, legitimate job. Not that what I do isn't a job, but you know what I'm saying? I don't have too much work experience because I have all the experience in the world from this. Um, 
So she gave me a little bit of direction, which is nice. And then I just made myself a bagel sandwich. We just had one egg left. And I am sitting out on our balcony. It's really nice and sunny out, but the temperature has like drastically dropped this week. It's only about like 72, but it's like sweatshirt, sweatpants, kind of 72, so. Okay, back to work I go. I've got quite the list of things to do. It's 11.30 right now and I am like really hoping to crank through um, all of my forecasting and computer app stuff before I like take my next break. So this is what we're going to attempt to accomplish here and up. We'll see how this goes. We'll see. It's been a while since I did like a big, not study, like I'm not studying, I'm just completing schoolwork, but it's been a while since I did like a big school session like this. I do it a lot with the blog, but it definitely does take me some time to get like reacclimated school-wise, but oh well, I've got my notebook right here. I get a lot of questions on like school supplies. Almost everything that I do is on my computer, but I do just have one five subject notebook for the occasional notes that I do take. I do have to watch a lecture for product development and I have a forecasting PowerPoint. I'm gonna start off with forecasting because frankly, it's just the class that I'm more excited about right now. And I feel like that will be like a good ease into it, so. Okay, my forecasting work for the week is complete. She had two different PowerPoints up, one just titled chapter one, took some notes on that. We learned a lot about different trends and what forecasting is, how it's used and what kind of jobs you can get out of it. And then she also had another PowerPoint titled part one. This was like a super long PowerPoint and a lot of it was really repetitive of the first. So I only took about two pages worth of notes, not a ton because a lot of it, like I said, did overlap. I just took our quiz, got 100% on that. Um, and here is kind of a look at some of those PowerPoints. I love classes like this where you just take notes and then take a quiz every single week. Like I love the stability. This was another one of them. And then we also had to go through and read this chapter. I typically skim through these books. We have a handful of them that we've used throughout our courses here. And a lot of the information is like right in front of you, which is really convenient. Um, and most things that are bolded are what they end up testing on. So it's kind of really easy to command find and navigate through these. So just do that. We can check that off of the list. Yay, yay, yay. I have been sitting here doing this Excel assignment for two days now. And I'm like, this is just so oddly familiar. And I, I know how to do the assignment, but I'm confused because it doesn't match up with the video. And I've downloaded two assignments and they don't watch the videos. Only like at this point, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I must be doing something wrong. Only to open up my email and literally six minutes ago, our professor emailed us and said, OMG, I'm so sorry for the confusion. I accidentally sent the video for fashion tech, not your class. I've extended the due date and actually uploaded the correct thing now. Like, I wasn't even frustrated with the professor. I was just more frustrated with myself because I was like, this cannot be that complicated. And it's not. So here I am sitting with my Excel sheets. Okay, once I actually got the correct video to work, this was a breeze of an assignment, just practicing different equations, how to find the sum, mean, different things like that. So I just submitted that. I'm actually like on a roll, so I think I am just going to hop right on into my product development work. We have a PowerPoint and a like chapter to read in the textbook as well as an activity to complete, so I think I'm just gonna knock this out now. Just took a good chunk of notes on different line plans, merchandising planning, marketing, and the different calendars and cost-based plans. 
which if I guess you're not a fashion major and you want that in English, it means like at what point um, buyers are placing orders for different seasons. So like in March, they are finalizing what is going to be in stores in the fall time. Um, and they work ahead and we're kind of just learning about how they know what kind of inventory to buy and things like that. So kind of links back into fashion forecasting. They parallel a lot, which is kind of nice, but I just did that. And now I've just got a quick little like research activity to complete. We actually were already put in our groups for the midterm project. And basically in this class, you work towards the midterm project all semester long. So we chose Express. I just need to go through and find some information and do a little consumer behavior analysis real quick. And then I'll submit this and be done with classwork for the day. Went to professional seminar. Checked on planning and buying, did my computer apps, did my assignment for that, did the PowerPoint, did the discussion board, did the quiz, did the product development PowerPoint. I just worked on this activity. I do have to submit this later this week. I did not write my favorites blog post and I have not done really anything style by McKenz related today. And truth be told, I don't think I'm gonna get to it. It's about 3.30 right now. And we are trying to leave for the Riley Green concert by six, which means I have two and a half hours. I look gross right now. So I am going to need to shower. I also need to eat dinner. I've kind of been in a weird mood all day. Um, I like try to be transparent about that kind of thing. I'm not in a good productive mood all day. In reality, I have been productive, but I feel a little funky. I think part of it's because I didn't get ready. That always plays like a really big toll on my mood. So we are going to turn my shower on. And we're gonna wash my hair, shave, do the whole nine yards. The definition of me multitasking right now is the fact that I just made a pot of pasta while also baking my under eyes. Um, as you can tell, I am kind of in a rush. But anyways, I just made like one pot pasta with the leftover chicken from the other night. I basically just diced it and then I made a pot of noodles, threw some cilantro, some lime, some salt, pepper, garlic, and feta into it. Usually I do this with shrimp, but I figured I would just use the chicken because it was left over and I hadn't taken anything out yet. This is a kind of a big, it's like not quite two servings, but it's definitely big for one, but oh well, whatever I don't eat, I'll throw back in the fridge and eat later tonight when I come home. I just wanted to update you that my pasta was delicious. I finished my makeup and I decided to crimp my hair because I'm letting Cart and Little Michaels, two of my best friends, um, borrow, I have three cowboy hats, okay? They're borrowing two of them. And then my little Logan was like, I desperately need a hat. I don't have time to do my hair. So she's gonna borrow my third hat, but originally I had intended on wearing this with my outfit. But oh well, since my hair was freshly washed, I just decided to crimp it. And I tried to tease my roots a little bit to give my hair a little more volume. Thank you, Olivia, for the teasing comb. But here is my outfit of the night. My top and my shorts are both from Windsor. And then my cowboy boots are from Dan Post. And then my hat is from Justin's Boots. Just wearing my usual jewelry, nothing crazy. Griffith actually just got here because she's going to come with us. Um, but we're meeting, Logan and I are meeting like all of our baseball friends once we get there. So should be a fun night. Riley Green, we love you. I'm definitely not bringing my camera, um, so I'm probably just going to vlog some on my phone, just so you guys can kind of get like 15 second clips without me getting copyrighted, and I'll insert those so you guys can see. Someone, like actually several of you have DM'd me and been like, where's Griffith in vlogs? Here, I am. Here she is. Griffith, come into the mirror and give us your outfit details. Should I do a southern accent? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this top is from Buddy Love, I believe, okay. a couple years ago. These shorts, I think, are from Fabric in Hilton Head. It's a boutique. Um, and then these boots are from Southern Fried Chics. All right, we are waiting on Logan. We've got about 10 minutes, so we've got to go, but just wanted to check in and say hey. hey.
Yeah. You guys, yesterday was like seriously one of the most fun nights of college. Cart and little Michael and Sam and a couple of our other friends got there super early. So they had a spot like literally three rows from the front. So we were so close. Hope you guys enjoyed some of those little clips that I just took on my phone while I was there. I can't leave everything in for copyright reasons. Although it's live music, so I don't really know how that works, but um, he was so good. Riley Green, like, literally was fantastic. I've always liked his music, but A, I never realized how much of it I knew, but B, he was so much better live, I thought. Like, he was really, really good. Um, and we just had a blast. Like, it was just such a fun night with my friends. Um, I love them. I'm so glad that, you know, we had a fun, good time. But anyways, I woke up pretty early at, like, 8. It's like to me, eight is like kind of early still, even though it's like when I normally wake up, I still feel like it's early. But, anyways, I'm just gonna lay in bed for a little bit. It's actually already 10 right now. I've just been hanging out, talking with the roomies, scrolling through TikTok, kind of having a slower morning because it's Friday, which means it's the weekend. Um, but I do need to get up a blog post today and one tomorrow because I really, really, really want to go back to posting three times a week. But I've been slacking, so I'm just gonna work here. Okay, about two and a half hours later, my August favorites post is finally live. About 2,000 words, just recapping all of my favorites, beauty products that I loved, music that I'm listening to, goals for the new month, reflecting on last month, sharing some really personal moments. My favorites posts, I say it every single month, are seriously like some of my favorite posts that I ever publish. If you do not read my blog, but you are curious what I am up to, maybe you've taken some time off from me and wanna just kinda get like a idea of what's going on, where I'm at, those are the best place to figure it all out. But anyways, okay, my bed, like it literally looks like I had a war with my sheets last night. So it is officially time to make it. My room in general is just a mess. It always is after everyone comes over. Um, I usually keep a pretty clean room, which is why, like, um, everyone comes in my room. <laughs> and it ends up a little messy in the morning, but oh well, let's make it. Okay, much, much better. I also just went downstairs and picked up my mail. So let's do a little unboxing for you. Okay, actually there's only a couple things I'm gonna show you. I'm actually doing a collaboration with DSW on my Instagram next month. And I'm so excited. I have shopped at DSW for my whole life. I've been the biggest DSW stand like for as long as I can remember. So it's especially exciting to be working with them. Um, so they sent over two pairs of boots from their Crown Vintage line. I got these like brown ones. I love these perfect everyday booty with just jeans and sweaters. I'm always looking for something with a short heel that I can kind of walk around campus in. I don't even really consider this a heel. To me, this is like a normal shoe height, but I like those. I know they're gonna end up going with a lot. And then they also sent over these ones. These are really cute because they're a good transition to once it starts getting snowy and slushy here. They've got like velvet laces and they just have a zipper along the side, more of like that combat moto style, which I really like as well. I end up wearing a lot of these to class and since I do have in-person class again, I know that I'm gonna be getting good use out of them. And then in this box right here, I've got a bunch of dresses from David's Bridal. I'm doing a homecoming post with them. We shall figure it out. I've been wearing this airy tacos and tennis sweatshirt for like the last few days now and it's seriously so comfy. But anyways, okay, it's about one o'clock. I still need to get a YouTube video up today. So what I think I'm actually gonna do is put on a bathing suit and go walk over to the pool because I have to do work anyways and I just kind of want to get outside. So the UV is like seven or eight. I figured I could just get a little bit of sun um, and sit there for a couple of hours while I knock out some work. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, swimsuit on. 
I've got my rainbows on and I've got my long champ. I always bring this bag to the pool. I just have my computer, my AirPods, and my phone in it. Nothing crazy. And then this is a cute cup. I feel like someone commented and was like, do you ever drink water? Like, you never show what you're drinking. I, like, hate all kinds of caffeine. I don't like tea. I don't like soda. I don't like coffee. Like, I literally, like, only, I hate milk. I just like water. Um, and I drink out of this Style by McKen's tumbler that I've had forever. OG Style by Merch. Anyways, let's head out. I wasn't planning on going in, but it's actually like warmer in the water than it is outside of it. So I just dipped in, got my computer. Apparently there's like a cookout happening here in like an hour. So maybe I'll eat a hot dog, but there's a few people here. Time to get ready. So tonight I'm going to dinner with one of my girlfriends and then right after Logan and I are going to this sunflower patch that's literally in Pennsylvania, it's like an hour away, to take photos and pick some sunflowers. She's like doing it as part of like a little collaboration for them. So I decided I'm going to wear this dress. This is from Lulu's. It just came earlier this week and I need to grab a photo in it for Instagram at some point. So I figured today would be the perfect time to wear it. It's super cute. Sadly, it did not get unwrinkled when I took a shower, so I just put it up on a hanger and I actually just plugged my steamer in we're gonna give it a good steaming this is like my least favorite chore ever okay I just got ready on live here is a look at my outfits dresses on and then my gold sandals are from Express I wear these all the time I really didn't want to wear my hair straight but it was just drying pretty straight and this was gonna be like the quickest answer so that's what I'm wearing. I'm like really dressed up to go get tacos right now, but I think I'm gonna be like the perfect amount of fancy for the little sunflower patch. So. You know what's really depressing about me and Annie being together is that there are subscribers that don't know who this is. No, and I was there like. I know, Annie OG. is OG. If you were there freshman year in our like going out, get ready with me outfit of the day <laughs> vibes, I mean, Annie's in every there. single one of them. Uh, maybe I'll try to find an old club and put it in, but we're on our way to Barrio because. Well, I've actually, this is the only place I have been since coming back to school, but Annie wanted to come here. Okay, Annie convinced me to get a rice bowl this time, which I've literally, of all the times I've been here, I've never had. But she said they're really good. It's literally rice, chicken, I got corn, cheese, and pineapple salsa. Wait, what? what is that kind of meat? What? Chicken. Oh, yours looks cooler. <laughs> I think, I don't know. And then I got the cilantro, lime, and the chipotle on the side. Besties. Okay, wait. Before I explain me and Logan driving an hour away to the sunflower patch, I do want to say that the bowl at Barrio I thought was so much better than the tacos. Like, I really liked the bowl. And it was literally $5. And it was like a good amount of food. So I would definitely get it again and maybe mix up the meat and like the salsas next time to try something different. But I liked you it. You had a bowl at Barrio? Yes. I and it was $5.50. Is it big? Yeah. Like more Like filling. it was like about two and a half tacos, I would say. It's it was good. Same price, kind yeah. Of. Um, so anyways, I thought it was good. Anyways, Logan just got off work and she is putting in the address. We are uh, oh, we about to drive. <laughs> 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 yeah. We drive an hour here. And it literally says wedding entrance. We see them we see the mother of the bride out there. Logan goes, Did I take this to a wedding? <laughs> But, we're, but we're, it says sunfire on one side, but we might wedding crash after this. We might get some cake later. I definitely right could I definitely could show up to a summer wedding. I outfit. feel as though we could just try really hard. I just want to see them and congratulate. Well look at this. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what part look of Pennsylvania we're in. Kettle corn. Is it even open? Don't say that to me. That guy. Oh my god. Wait, we're in the wrong outfit. Like, I want to play on these. I told you we had to play. Welcome to the farm. Oh, there's like six people here. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the hay wagon. Sunflower patch vibes. Okay, so this place, I'll leave it linked down below. But there's seven different photo ops throughout, and we get to like pick a bucket of flowers and take it home. And there are a bunch of different photo ops within it. The sun's about to go down. And there's so much in here. Like, this is like a barn. Like, you can get apple cider donuts. You can jump on these little things. There's different rides. There, see, there's like little tractor going right there. We really wish that we would have gotten here like a little bit earlier because it's gonna get dark before we have time to do all these things. But we did get blueberry donuts. They're so good. They were still warm when we got them yeah. too. Okay, it's time to fill our bucket. We're trying to like hurry before the sun goes down so that we can hold these. In Make front them of. longer. Cause look how big this look it is. That's too short. You think? Look at it. That one's barely in there. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Yes, I'm not. <laughs> what about this one? Here, what about this? Make this one. Is this better? No. You're getting worse. Cut it right here. <laughs> like, look how sweet we look. If a boy got me this, this is the apology I want. It's this big thing of, this big honker of flowers from a boy. <laughs> like, look how sweet. Okay, but there's no, like, pale. Like, Wait, look how, how cute. You, I'm gonna take pictures. How do you hold this? Like, there's no, like, So I actually talk about grief a lot on my channel. Well, at least I try to be honest about my journey with it. And my aunt, my best friend, um, passed away, I think five years ago in November. And it was her birthday earlier this week. And I was feeling a little guilty, but at her funeral, they passed out sunflower seeds. And sunflowers were her favorite flower. So it feels very fitting that today we get to celebrate her and think about her. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Guys, I got Logan to ride the farm animals with me. I'm in a horse and she's in a pig. <laughs> her idea of a fun Friday night. This is our Friday night out in college. We're taking our friends here once it's once it's full. Woo! We had to stop by the wedding venue and you see I could get married in Pennsylvania if it looks like this. She's coming back because my wedding's here. Don't know who the Guys, is, yeah, these little here. kids just told us. Like, I'm assuming this is where the reception is. I've been up since the literal crack of dawn because my stomach hurts so bad this morning, like just so crampy. I literally have no idea why. But anyway, so I woke up at 7.30 and never went back to bed. And I have been editing this week in my life that you're watching right now ever since. I realized that in this vlog, I've kind of like been back and forth a lot. So on Mondays, I like to use Mondays as content days slash prep for the school week. On Tuesdays are full school days. Wednesday are content creation days, meaning I'm gonna film, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna do TikToks, I'm creating the content. Thursday, school day. Friday is when I like finish up last minute schoolwork that um, I don't wanna do over the weekend. And then I use Friday typically as another work day. Now I'm editing the blog posts. I'm editing the YouTube videos. All the things that I shot and filmed and did all that stuff with on Wednesdays, I'm now like doing the work for on Fridays. And then on Saturday, my big task is always to start editing my week in my life. I upload these in live time. I'm filming this today, Saturday, and it's being published to YouTube tomorrow, Sunday, which means that, I, you know, like I have to be kind of up to date. I imported all the footage and for six days worth of footage, I had three hours worth of video and I have edited it down to an hour and five minutes so far. So a good chunk of my day on a Saturday is usually dedicated to editing these videos. I always say like a good rule of thumb is the amount of footage that you have, double that. That's usually how long it takes to edit a video. So it is now noon and I've been working on this. And then the rest of my day on Saturdays, I usually leave pretty open because in reality, like a video like this does take up a good chunk of my day. I do want to get a blog post up today because like I said earlier this week, I am trying to go back to uploading four times a week, which means I need to upload today um, I want to get an Instagram photo up some stories and then I do want to edit a Shein haul at some point today I actually think I'm gonna head to the pool to do it because um, I don't know getting kind of bored of sitting in my room all week figured a nice change of pace and rather than sitting outside on campus might as well sit outside at the pool and get some Sun um, so that's what's up but first I'm gonna make some lunch because I am starving Saturdays just call for a chicken tender wrap. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Chicken tender, cheddar cheese, ranch. I feel like I never vlog in any room in our apartment besides my bedroom, but we do have a living room too. It's constantly a mess, but. Still all ready for the pool. <laughs> Put the same bathing suit as yesterday back on. Figured I might as well just keep the same tan line going. I'm uh, about to pack up my computer and head to the pool to get a couple of hours worth of work done while getting some sun. Hey guys, just laying out. Lauren went inside already. Chris is here, Macy's here. And so are a bunch of other people. Like it's open today. I think it's because it's Saturday and no one really has anything to do. 
Let me rephrase. Everyone has something to do, but no one wants to do it. I need to do my homework, but I don't want to do it. Yep, like Krista, procrastination station. Right, besties, it's been a few hours since I checked in. I didn't come home from the pool until about 3.15. It's 5.50 now, and I have just been honestly pretty lazy <laughs> um i sat on tiktok for quite some time and then i finally mustered up the motivation to publish today's blog post which was five ways to wear the express body contour tanks i really really love these tops you guys seem to love them too i've sold tons of them they're currently 40 percent off today so i decided to write a little post on them olivia helped me shoot these looks last week and then of course i linked everything as well so that you guys can shop and as you can see they are on sale there's 35 colors in this specific top i have eight of them and they are fantastic like literally fantastic and then over on instagram i went and i published my first little like one through five comment your fave in a while you guys really love when i do these and i share like all the different outfit ideas because they're really convenient you can get a bunch of outfit inspo all in one spot so just did that you guys are already starting to comment and then i also linked all of this week's blog posts to my stories which was another must now I am going into my iMovie, and if I'm being completely honest, I should start editing this, but I will probably just stare at my phone some more while this sits open on my lap, because I am human too, and I'm having a lazy Saturday. What can I say? <laughs> okay, yes, I realize we eat a lot of pasta here, but oh well, I'm not afraid of carbs. Lauren had this chicken and feta spinach sausage, so we're gonna heat this up. We've got some spinach, we've got some feta, just gonna throw in some garlic, salt, olive oil, pepper. Um, boiling some water right now, I'm gonna make a little pasta. This is the story of my life. <laughs> Chef yep. Lauren mixing our veggies up. Pretty much. Look at that, Mom. The Tomatoes, first time you'll ever broccoli, see. spinach. <laughs> our noodles are ready. They're just waiting. Okay, so Krista and Lauren have decided that they want to go to this hockey function this evening. Um, we're trying to socialize with new people, meet new people. So we're going to give it a go. And I have to get ready. I really don't want to use heat on my hair because I've just been using a lot of heat on it since getting back to school. But I went in the pool and got it wet, which was really stupid of me. So what I think I'm going to do is like take some hairspray and kind of like slick it back. And I think I'm going to attempt the colonial low bun look that some girls look really chic and sexy in. And I think I'm going to look really dumb in, but I don't really care. We're going to test it out. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wear eyeshadow tonight. Like freshman year, I would love getting ready to go to parties and stuff because I loved the getting ready process. Turn on some Taylor Swift, crank on the jams. Logan's gonna be here soon because um, she's gonna come with. Everyone else is like home for the weekend because it's Labor Day. Um, but I think I might try some eyeshadow. I don't know. I'll keep you posted. See you when I look better. Ooh, girl, I look good. I look good. We're going for the sophisticated today and I did a little bit of eyeshadow no lashes which is big for me like I really don't like to go out without them typically not like out in public but I mean like out out um because they're like a big secret confidence weapon for me um but I'm not doing it tonight so here we go here's what I look like I have decided to wear this white little princess pally top super cute my jeans are from express my usual jewelry, nothing special. I didn't straighten the back of my head. Like the back of me doesn't look cute, but it's fine because I can only see the front of me. So anyways, I'm actually gonna end this vlog off here because I do want to finish editing this and let it process overnight while we are gone. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, my first real college week of my life. I will be back with these every single week from here on out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, stick around. Love you guys, talk soon.